I have a question for you viewers. Have any of you ever had a time where you keep trying to record an episode and you just don't like the way it goes and you get frustrated and have to record it the next day? Well, this is like take five for this episode. Well, hey, my fellow video gamers and Let's Players, I'm Plays, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Y. In the last episode, we got the Sail Fossil, revived our, well, at least I called it Am uh, like Amaru, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to call it Amora because I think that's how it is, Amora or Amura or something. And in this episode, well, also we made it to Silage City, but in this episode we are going to be uh, going through Silage City and probably tackling the gym leader. But in one of my failed recordings, I remember I went here and got the Satchet, which I have no idea what the Satchet does. Some Pokemon like Whipped Cream, okay, let's see. And some Pokemon, okay, that's, you just say the same thing. I have no idea what the Satchet does. You might think, oh, Jordan, why don't you actually look to see what the Satchet does? Well, I would, but I didn't need the Satchet when I was playing the game originally, and sorry, I just want to get rid of that message down there, but I didn't need it when I was playing it originally, and I don't think I need it now, so I don't think it's required. But anyways, let's go into the bike shop. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Anyways, going into the bike shop. Oh, 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 welcome, welcome. Come right this way. And we have a guy that wants to talk to us. What timing you have, young man? Did you know that you are our 10,001 customer? Yes, lucky you, you're 10,001, you're almost great. As a runner-up, you still get the chance to win a bicycle by answering our quiz correctly. If you're ready, then here we go. Your question is, do bicycles come in more than one color? Well, if we look in the back, you'll see there are green bikes and yellow bikes, so... We're not stupid. Of course they come in more than one color. Bing bing bing, you are correct. I'm sure someone like you will love having one of our bicycles. Which color will you go for, yellow or green? It's what you will have for good, so choose carefully. Yes, we're going with green. Even though I used green on my original playthrough of this game, blah blah blah, green is the dominant color over yellow in my opinion, so we are using that. So now, uh, I guess I can go into how the bike works, but I'm first going to have to go into my options, go into... that, 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 yeah, no, no, not Pokemon, okay. I was just even thinking bag, and then I accidentally went up to Pokemon. I meant to go to bag, these loading times for going between these take a while, but let's go to our key items and get out the bicycle, and let's set that, actually no, we want to press A and register that so they go to the Y button. And now, whenever we will press the Y button, we will get on a bike, which this bike is going to be really hard to control, actually not that bad when I'm playing this on, like, in this position, but first, we are going to be going into the Pokemon Center because, in a failed take, I found out that I need to get a few items, but what the heck are you? I have potions, I'm totally, I'm totally okay, yeah, you okay, whatever, let's go talk to this person, are you the right one I'm thinking of? Yes, you are. There are a few things I want to get. I want to get a few awakenings, because in a failed take, I got put to sleep. Now, you might think, oh, this is slightly cheating now, but you know what? Okay, I don't need super potions. Do I need any antidotes? No, I don't. Do I need any paralyzed heals? No, I don't. I think we're fine, because I'm pretty sure we're not going to need a burn heal or an ice heal throughout this gym. Because, well, I'm not going to tell you what the type is, but we're not going to be running into any ice type moves. Or burning moves or whatever. At least I don't believe so. Anyways, I believe there is one other thing in this town, which is the clothes store, and there is one thing I want to check out. Now, I'm not going to make the error of doing one thing I made last time, which I don't even know if that shirt's in today, because I believe there's going to be different shirts sold on different days. Like, the one time I went in here, I think it was Saturday, and I tried buying a shirt that was $12,800, which this King t-shirt I'm looking at is $12,800. The one I got before was a twin t-shirt, so I guess it's a little bit of a thing on certain days you can get certain things. Kind of like, on this day we have a red zipped jacket instead of the green one I saw. So you know what? We're going to be getting the red zipped jacket, because personally that looks cool. And that was only $2,000, which we have $12,000, so that's definitely good. And let's change, because I believe I want to keep my orange little knit cap, because it looks pretty cool. And I can always change my hair once we get to the Lumio City eventually, which I could abuse teleport and get to Lumio City, but I'm not going to do that because I'm not an abuser. I'll get to Lumio City in the regular way because we will be going back to that city anyways. Whoa, it looks great on you. You have one item, and yes, we're paying that. Ooh, clothes are going to get a lot more expensive later in the game. By that, I mean there is a certain store in Lumio City that you need certain style points for, but we're not going to get into that until that comes up, which I have no idea when that's going to come up. But... If we go up here, we will run into a certain person, which... This guy. Oh dear, if you're here for the bicycle race, I'm afraid you're too late. The race is over and I took first place. I feel bad that you missed it. Here, allow me to give you the strength HM in consolation. Yeah, we get the HM04 strength pretty easily. You know, someone, some like HMs, they take like a convoluted way of getting it, like, you know, defog and platinum, you have to go through all that maze thing, Salation Ruins, but no, we just give it. He just gives it to us, okay. 
However, if you want to use the move outside of battle, you'll need a badge from the gym I run in this city. On that note, I'll be waiting for you in the gym. Come challenge me at your leisure. Yes, we will. Also, I forgot to mention, actually, my Pokemon, they're all either level 23 or 24. 24 being Frockwin Incinerate and 23 being the rest. Now, before we go into the gym, I actually want to use our bike and check up around here, because I believe there are a few things we can get if we go up on this bike, like, I wouldn't even call it a bicycle route, but it's somewhat of a bike thing. And there is one thing we can do over here where if we go slowly on here, we can go right here and get this item, which that is an X special attack. You want to be really careful because there is that narrow passageway there. And now, okay, let's not go that way. Let's go down here because going this way will get us into the gym, which actually, before we go to the gym, there is an item here, which is an X defense. So I guess this little mountain is like the mountain of X attacks and defenses. But now... Let's go back around and- Ooh, I actually never really heard this part of the music before. And if you want to know, you don't need to use the bike here. I'm just using it because I feel like it. We're going to get off of it right now, and let's talk to this thing. Silage City Pokemon Gym, Leader Grant. Also, this music of this city is pretty cool. But now let's go into the side of the mountain, where... The gym is a mountain inside of a mountain. A pretty cool concept, if I do say so myself. Ugh, I say that all the time. Hey, 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 it's the future champ. What's going down? This is- that- that- <laughs> Rock type gym, rock type steel, water. Bl Was that steel? I have no idea. But the main gimmick of this gym is rock climbing. Oh god, that was weird. I said rock climbing by how I was talking there. Also, this guy. Who do I want to start out with? But yeah, the main gimmick is rock climbing. We have to climb up a rock wall until we get to the gym leader. Now, I want to start out with Frockwa because this is the only battle I did off, like, on the previous recording, and then I stopped because I'm like, I really don't feel like recording this, but now I do. I need a break after all this climbing and training. I feel like I'm going to try to use Frockwa a lot more in this gym because I've really been abusing him as of late or as of since the first gym. So now we are going to heal up just slightly because I do have a few super potions to use. So let's just use one on Shmam Kid and let's use one on Frockwa. But now, even though I said I was going to use Frockwa, let's actually switch out Pokemon just slightly because I want Shmam Kid in first quickly and then I want Frockwa in dead second, just so he can be right there, because these are going to be the two main people that are going to be doing in this gym. And oh my god, <clears throat> sorry about that, my voice sounds like it's going a little out, but that doesn't matter. But okay, there is nothing over there, so let's not go over there. Let's continue going up. I just wanted to go down to see exactly what was there, but I definitely am not going to be challenging every single gym trainer in this gym, because that would be just stupid. We are just going to do all the gym trainers I feel like fighting, or all the gym trainers that get in our way when we're trying to climb up this little rock mountain here. Now, don't accidentally fall down when I'm trying to climb up this area, because that would be bad, and that is not good if it is bad. I kind of just said the same thing over again, but okay. And I'm going to have to go around him. I didn't have to fight him. Well, that fight was extremely short. Oh my god, I wasn't actually expecting it to be that short. Because the last fight took a little bit. I mean, I definitely didn't get close to dying, but it took a little tiny bit. But, oh god, that short fight was really short. And, whoa, I can just skip you, but I'm going to fight you anyways, even though I can actually skip you. Only those with a noble spirit can try to take on the challenge of the Silage City Pokemon Gym. It seems like every time someone has a Soul Rock, they also have a Lunatone, and ooh. Remember when I said that there would be no chance of getting a burn? Well, I guess maybe it could if you would that Fire Spin, but oh my god. I am really surprised with Shmam Kid. 
He took the fire spin like a champ. He didn't even lose half his health. I thought he might have died. I mean, fire spin in all honesty might be a horrible move. I have no idea. But I believe there is this one guy we have to fight and then we're at the top. You know what? Climbing is a lot like solving a puzzle. It's a game of logic. Now that we got that little bit of a long fight out of the way, we have a little bit of healing to do <clears throat> because I got paralyzed in that battle. Luckily, paralyzed heals, we have two of them, and I believe that's the only time I think we're actually going to get paralyzed in this gym. I need to remember to actually buy some paralyzed heals off screen, and now we are fully healed because I believe the gym leader is coming up after this, and oh, my voice just feels so bad. And actually, wait, is it coming up? Yeah, it's coming up because I see those stairs. That is the stairs and or steps to the gym leader, right here. But before we go here, let's just make sure our team is perfectly set up. Let's check our Pokemon. You know what, let's actually start with Incinerate. This is going to be really weird. I just want to see how Incinerate will go at the beginning of this fight. And then I want to try something else for the last Pokemon, because I actually don't have the weaknesses of these Pokemon up, because this gym is, uh, let's just say, he has a good choice in rock type somewhat, I guess, but okay. <clears throat> but now we're just going to save seven hours. Oh god, let's go up there. <laughs> let's talk to this guy as we fade to black. I feel like that's a song name. I feel I don't know. I've been waiting in eager anticipation. What have I been waiting for? For a worthy challenger to appear. It's quite an achievement to have climbed all the way up here. Very impressive, actually. I have a feeling that our battle will turn out to be worth the wait. I hope you'll show me that your skill as a trainer surpasses even mine. And now, as he messes with his neck, we are battling the second gym leader, finally, versus Grant. I am not going to be doing that from the last LP. Maybe I will, but ooh, he's already a copier of us. He has an Amora, and thank God it focused. That's one thing in my failed recording I noticed. There was a lot of times where it wouldn't focus. Now, since I know it's part ice type, I don't know if it's really... Actually, let's try a Dragon Rage first, because I totally forgot. Dragon Rage, always 40 HP of damage. I have no idea how much damage it has. You know what? We can just fully kill this Pokemon with just a Fire-type move. As long as it doesn't have any moves that is super effective against us, I think we're fine. Takedown will do some recoil damage to him. Probably not as much as it did to us, but we have to use a Dragon Rage. And guess what? That um, aura did not stand a chance. I could obliterate his team with Dragon Rage, but I just wanted to try something. I originally was actually going to try a Fire-type move on him, but then I was like, you know what? Let's just use Dragon Rage. And ooh, Shmamkit's level 25. Shmamkit's getting up there, but now Tyrant. I'm going to try something. Let's do P-Dart. Now, P-Dart, if you remember, has the move Revenge. And Revenge does 120 damage if attacked first. So, what we're going to do is we are going to use Revenge. It has a negative 4 thing, so he's going to use Stomp on us first which will do some damage to us, and we're going to use Revenge, a 120 base attack power, and we kill that time. Oh, no, that we actually didn't. Okay. We're cool going to quickly... Actually... Yes. Actually, no, 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 no. What we're going to do is we're going to restore our HP quickly because he's going to restore his HP this turn as well. And that's what I thought. Both using a Super Potion, and... Oh, that was so close, though. We were so close with that attack. We're going to try another Revenge. He might not attack me because he might... Well, maybe the AI is smart enough to know that that attack will... Like, you know, he might not fall for it this time. And no, he fell for it this time. As long as I survive a Stomp, which I was pretty sure I would, I can use yet another 120 power type of Revenge thing. And... So, so, always so close. Now, let me just switch Pokemon quickly because I want to finish this off with... Let's do Shmamkit, actually. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do Shmam Kid. I was going to do Amora, but I'm like, you know what? I don't know. And sorry I hit my camera there. That was a little bit of an accident on my fault. But more than a little bit of an accident. But Stomp should not do that much. That's what I thought. We kind of like resistant stuff. And 
I'm pretty sure I can use Razor Leaf on this guy and kill the Tyrant. I forgot they only really have one Super Potion, and that was a critical hit, and guess what? We beat the second gym leader. A lot, it was a lot easier with this team than it was with my previous team. Because my previous team, I think I got down to the last Pokemon. Because I really didn't have anything to go against that Tyrant. But Dragon Rage is a good move when you have nothing really good against the Amora. Or whatever it is. There are some things that seem out of reach no matter how hard you try. However, it's important that you never give up no matter the, the opponent or the odds. I could tell from our battle that you and your Pokemon understand that. To commemorate such an impressive show-off... Teamwork, yeah. Please accept the Cliff Badge. And, like Cliff Burton from Metallica, we got a badge. That was a weird analogy, but okay. We got the Cliff Badge. With the Cliff Badge in your grasp, you should have no issues working together with Pokemon up to level 40. Oh my god. We're only in the 20s. You don't need to be going to 40s. I mean, if you really want to switch trade over Pokemon from your other X or other games, that's okay. This even applies to Pokemon you've received from other people in trade. And that's not all, you'll also get this. And we get TM39 Rock Tomb. And I hit the camera again. Luckily it's not enough to actually make it move that much, but... With this move, a Pokemon can hurl rock at its targets. Not only inflicting damage, but also lowering the target's speed and preventing it from moving. Now that you've become a master wit wall climber, yeah. For some reason I feel like I just can't read this. And conquered this gym, it's time for you thought... Okay. Think about how you can improve yourself, as well as the Pokemon that are always by your side. When you find the answer, this that's when you'll truly be able to smile. Oh god, thank you for not talking anymore, but I believe there is a slide thing that we can slide- or is there? There should be a slide thing that we can slide down to make this a lot easier to go down. Either that, or there's this thing right here which we can climb down, and then I believe- yep, that's what I thought, then this will lead to a slide, and then we can finally get back down to where the beginning of the gym was. And let's talk to this guy. Looks like our gym leader wasn't much of an obstacle for you. Good job and all that. We've gone and engraved your name on those mysterious statues there. And now, as we look on there, because I don't know if I showed this last time, our name is on this thing as Certified Trainer's Jordan. And now, we have defeated the second gym leader and got our Cliff Badge. So now, that's about it for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Y. I believe we got some good progress done. We went through all of the whole second gym, and we beat the gym leader, got our second badge, and we are on our way to completing this game, even though we only have two badges, and this is part 13. Whatever, whatever. So in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Y, I believe we're going to explore a little bit around this town, or oh, city, and see what else we'll do from there. Probably going on this next route up to the north of us. So, this has been Juddle Play saying see you later, and goodbye.